Energy and agriculture are two of the state's biggest industries, but a new school in Williston is opening a different door for future cosmetologists and others wanting to try something new. Malik Wilson visited with the two women working to make it all happen in this week's Business Beat. One of her friends had won the lottery, and we were just talking about what we would do with, my, with you know, if we won the lottery. A simple question turned a dream into reality. Ever since that conversation, we've just been working on it. Since. Is it run? Leticia Ortiz and Cynthia Gonzalez both operate and run Williston Beauty Salon, the Hair Safari. It will soon be the first to bring a fully accredited cosmetology school to the western North Dakota and eastern Montana areas. It's really hard being out here in this area because there's not a whole lot of help or assistance. Um, our state board is all the way in Bismarck, so that first step was kind of hard because we didn't really have any direction. direction. So it was... Um, hard even just getting our licenses as teachers. The two say they've been working on this for more than two years, recently getting the go-ahead on August 25th after the Williston City Commission approved a community bill grant from the Star Fund and a low interest loan by Tri-County Development, giving them the ability to move forward with their dreams. Over the next couple months, staff will begin remodeling the first and second floors of the current beauty salon to accommodate both classroom and administrative space. The school name is the Hair Society Institute of Cosmetology. Um, it's gonna be a 13-month program, 1,800 hours for the state of North Dakota, and we chose a an amazing curriculum. They'll begin teaching 10 students on all things cosmetology and will accommodate a night school to balance out schedules. Ortiz told me they just want to make more things possible for more people. Cynthia has a huge young clientele. Yeah. And they want to do something other than oil and farming or anything mechanical. Like, that's not all we are. We have become very diverse. And just to give something in the creative side, I think that that will help out a lot of the youth. Reporting for KX News in Williston, I'm Malik Wilson. They expect classes will begin this January and financial aid, scholarships and other funding will soon be made available. If you have a new business you'd like to see on this segment, shoot us an email at ndfirst at kxnet.com.